Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Brad Display Fitness, and uh, today is Friday, uh, June 5th. Um, doing some bench today. Got Dan and Mike with me um, in, the, in the garage getting after it. We're already kind of warming up. In fact, I'm already at working weight, so I'm going to get my first working sit in here uh, in just a second. Um, trying just to stick with the deload deal. Um, I ended up kind of getting injured yesterday on squat day. Um, so you can see this squat right here. If you notice that last rep, that the uh, right leg kind of kicked out a little bit to the uh, to the right a bit, and that little bit of instability tweaked my my leg a bit, and so that same, basically the exact same spot that I tweaked, however many weeks ago now at this point, uh, kind of retweaked. Um, it wasn't super significant, in other words, like not like like major trauma, but enough to remind me that it's there, right? So um, I've got my I've got my leg kind of voodoo flossed up today just to kind of provide me a little bit of uh, a little bit of stability there so you see all the voodoo floss there so I voodoo flossed my leg up just to kind of give a little bit of compression in there um, but moving forward with the bench everything's feeling pretty good there um, so I'm hoping to hit uh, 375 uh, 5 by 5 uh, that should be good and then try to get some accessory work and other stuff in there today too um, got to admit between the injury and whatever else kind of emotionally not feeling super great today um, just been kind of a rough go of things, feeling really out of sorts, not really feeling like myself. Um, so I got my guys with me and I try to do the best that I can to kind of get through the workout. And, you know, I just want you guys to know that you're not going to go into every workout feeling like a million bucks, right? Um, but we just try to do the best that we can with what we have. Um, so hopefully if any of you that are out there feeling maybe similar to how I'm feeling, um, you kind of get up off your butt and go to the gym and get it in because you know that you should. Um, so anyway, all that notwithstanding, I'm gonna go ahead and get into it now. I hope that you guys will stick around and see how this goes. I'm hoping, you know, no whammies, right? No injuries, no other issues. Got that leg banded, hopefully that, that stays uh, calm and under control. And we'll see what we can do. I think the guys are probably sticking with fives too, or lighter. Dan, Dan, Dan was complaining from overdoing it on the squats yesterday, so, yeah. you know, it is what it is. Um, yeah, so anyway. <laughs> Stay tuned, and we'll go ahead and get into it. See ya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's the bench? Working at nine to five, I had to go and feed the guys. Nobody did it right, I had to show them how to grind. I had to be the hard, this is the life I live for God. Taking a step at a time, we going up, we headed to Mars. Chances, making decisions, you know I'm never gonna lie Till you let go, I'm not being all of who you gonna be inside I cannot fake it, I gotta face it, I gotta do the time You gotta wait, make for a great payment, shit, you're doing your job Gotta deal with the patience, touring at every occasion Going to different locations, how they got when I need some direction Me and Vinci go up every session, cook it up, yeah, you know it's no pressure Yeah, you know how we do what we all in, we can slow up and you'll never catch us <laughs> Working at 9 to 5, I had to go and feed the guys Nobody did it right I had to show them how to grind I had to be the hard This is the life I live for God Taking a step at a time We going up, we headed to Mars You know my slimes, they came from the bottom to top uh, They can define us, they trying to find us Boy, I know you with the ops We're not the same, no, you can't compare me I don't belong in the box Don't try to play me, no, I'm not friendly This is everything I got Ain't no playing around, this is no playground Ain't no matter, I do what I say now I'ma go give them something to say now Got them stuck on my back like a spray ground See, it's easy, don't gotta complain I'm a shooter, got eyes in my van They said that I would never make it They thought I was crazy, they said I'm insane Working at 9 to 5 <laughs> he'll, be, he'll be just fine I got that on camera. 
number two. <laughs> That's it. That's the video. Um, ended up being a good day. So, like, as I as I confessed on the front side of the video, definitely been uh, a really hard time for me emotionally on a number of fronts. Um, and then, you know, with that injury, you know, yesterday, kind of retweaking uh, something that I've hurt previously, just you know, the the toll that that takes on you. So, one thing that I'd like you guys to remember and bear in mind as you continue through your your training, you know, journey, whatever your diverse goals might be, is that injuries really are part of the game, right? Injuries are going to come. And in a lot of senses, I feel like injuries are, are a necessity. And they can teach you a lot about life and training and a lot about like what you're doing. So injuries are learning opportunities. And take it as an opportunity to learn. Um, even in the wake of my, of my issue just yesterday, I've already been kind of constructing some things in my head of ways that I can progress and address kind of what's been going on and hopefully that will help it, right? So I don't know right now because I haven't really had the time and space to implement those those measures, but it's something that I'm already thinking about and trying to trying to kind of come up with a game plan. So just consider that for yourselves whenever you face an injury, um, you know, to try to think actively about it and don't just don't just treat it like downtime, right? Alright, so um, got in and was able to have a very good bench, set, bench session. Um, kind of in light of how I was feeling personally. I'm um, very grateful to have my friends with me. You got Dan, you got Mike, and uh, Maeve is standing there behind the camera. And I think Berkey's coming through here. So it's just, it's just nice to share time and space with people that are close to me, people that I love. Um, so for me, that means a lot. So maybe for you guys, uh, you know, having people close to you that you uh, care about can be the difference for you. Um, so got in, did the deal. Still in that deload, uh, five by five with 375. Mike, you were working with 185, right? Solid. And then you were doing 185 as well. So kind of on the same same par with each other in terms of the bench today, which was good. And then we moved into some accessory stuff, we got some tricep work. Um, so we did what we're gonna call now the bread and butter, which is Mike's favorite, which is a banded, a banded push down, which he loves dearly. <laughs> <laughs> and then we worked on the Viking press which he also loves dearly. Soul. It's like if, if Viking Press and Bandit Pushdown were like his children, he would have a hard time. I would sell them on the corner. <laughs> <laughs> For a bag of oranges. <laughs> <laughs> so Mike's not a fan of those two exercises, but that's all the reason, that's all the more reason to do them, right? Find things that you're bad at or you don't like and keep doing them until you're good at them. Um, did that, did some accessory work. Um, we also have our sharp grips up here on the, on the uh, bar here. And so one of the things that we've really been uh, playing around with uh, for grip development <laughs> is working with the, the grip sharks, um, doing some static holds, right? So um, we'll, we'll play with just time holds at like 30 seconds or whatever. And then we decided to go for uh, max time, as, you know, as long as you could stand. And again, today I am the defending champion. No, because you've lost the first one. Uh, no, that was just the warm-up that I didn't even right. need. Yeah, first Sorry. off, you actually quit on the first cheating. set. We're talking you didn't even have he a first was cheating. set. He was making me laugh. I didn't That's make bullshit. him laugh. That's anything. bullshit. Bro. We both did two sets. That's bullshit if we had a judge here. Yeah, all I gotta do is go like this. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Super fucking judgy face. Oh man, he made me laugh. I set. lost my concentration. He, he made it all of like five seconds. At yeah. any rate, I'm, I'm working on it. Right, get that Brain check. Brain check. <laughs> I'm, I'm working on it. It can last more than five seconds. Thanks, Mike. Anyhow, so uh, oh, yeah, so anyhow, we we're uh, yeah, we worked on this, and today I hit over a minute. And neither of these two young First off, we men. did 30 seconds, you didn't even do another set. So I want another 30 second rehash on that second set. You didn't even make I would have beat you! 
You didn't even make it to, okay, yeah. I was at 53. Yeah, you didn't make it to 53. But you know what 53 isn't? A minute and one 101. Second. <laughs> 53 is not Oh, eight seconds. <laughs> Add the 30 seconds to your time, <laughs> asshole. You should say 61. You said 101 and it sounds like you were on for 101 seconds, which isn't correct. <laughs> Brooke can actually do math. Yeah, I, mean, I can't do math. What a good You're not even on camera, so I don't care what you think. <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> you can do math. Yeah, I'm going inside. All right. So, all right. So, you probably can't do math. We don't do the maths. Um, I just do plate math. That's it. Anyhow, so, uh, but as you can see, like, as we're joking here, right, like, this is kind of the environment that we create, right? So, for any of you that are out there, as you guys are doing your deal, like, I want to, I wanted to kind of reaffirm to you or, like, just restate it. You create your own environment, right? So if, if the, the conditions that you have to train in aren't what you'd like, make something better. And it's kind of like that build the dreams type thing, right? You build it, they'll come, right? You have, have some people around you that share the same kind of passion as you do. They're gonna to wanna to come share time and space with you. So hopefully you see those kind of razzing each other, having a good time, enjoying one another, uplifting one another. Hopefully that gives you guys some, some ideas about how to go about your own training uh, program and kind of journey and how you do what you do. Um, all right, so not to belabor the point, we'll go ahead and close it down. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please drop in the chat box below. I'll be sure to respond. I appreciate you guys continuing to support me in the channel with likes, shares, and subs. If you happen to know a few people who might like the channel that I don't know, I would really appreciate it if you share the channel with them. Uh, you know, maybe they'll like it and stick around for a while. Also, if you've seen a video or two and haven't subbed up yet, I wish that you would. It'd be nice to have you around for a while. Remember, guys, no matter what it is you think you can't do, like, get in and have a really great training session, even if, even if your heart isn't there. You gotta get in, train to spike. You're either gonna find an excuse, or you're gonna find a way. And I hope that you guys continue to find the way. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.